On Friday, Arlisa Sugar talked with Andrew Leibenguth. He's originally from our area, but is now in Lviv, Ukraine, doing what he can to bring some joy there. At the time of the interview, Leibenguth was confident that the city wouldn't be attacked. However, that changed on Monday. Here's Lisa Sugar with that interview recorded last week. Well, the last time we spoke with Andrew Leibenguth, uh, the former Times News reporter and photographer from the Tamaqua area, now living in Florida. But last time he was in Warsaw, Poland, volunteering to help out the refugees. And now he is in Ukraine. Andrew, how has it been? This must be an amazing trip. Um, just came here to, you know, entertain, make everybody happy. And um, that, that was my goal. And I definitely achieved that. Uh, I know the first few days I didn't even sleep. Thousands of people made them smile. For people who didn't see our first interview, yeah. you do magic. Yeah. yeah, I did magic and all, all kind of stuff. Not just for kids, adults, soldiers, volunteers, just any, anyone, just anyone, everyone. And they all, there was a communication gap, but it I, somehow I pull it off. I don't understand. But everyone, lo- everyone, everyone loves it. Like in the last few days, now that I'm in Ukraine, I've been here about a week in Ukraine, uh, Lviv. Um, and I'm just focusing on the same same thing, but it's a little more labor here uh, because I, I, I said I'll do anything. Um, yeah, before in uh, Poland, I was at a uh, reception centers or those kind of, you know, I mean, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people come in, a lot more people. Here, the shelters are all spread out, you know, I mean, all that kind of stuff. So um, I, I see less people, but I still see them, but I see less. So um, during, during the, the midtime, when I'm not, I'm not entertaining people, I'm doing labor here at, the, at one of the shelters here. You served in the Marines. You've been in Iraq. Are you scared being there? Not really. I don't. I don't. I don't really have a reason to. I'm not really in a. I feel safe over here. At least where I am, I'm. I'm safe. I mean, we hear, you know, missile sirens and stuff going off, but eh, the Russians can't hit. It won't. Hit, they won't hit me. And if they do, I'll throw it back at them. What's been the reaction when the people find out that you're from America and you came there to help them during one of the worst times of their entire life? I was worried about how that, how that's going to be because, you know, you can't just approach somebody who's been, who lost their home, et cetera, you know, and expect them to smile, especially when it, to somebody doesn't speak their language. Um, but I've learned how to, uh, to work, to make it work. And I'm very appreciative. Um, everyone's appreciative, actually. I talked to... Um, uh, from the volunteers to the supervisors to, 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 to obviously to all the refugees, just it's just amazing that they. Like, I just I just paid for a pizza, thirty pizzas, just like literally ten minutes ago. So they're all grateful, and that's from the donations back home. So I mean, that's you know just all little small things here and there, and I do what I can because our, our money goes a long way more here. Like I can buy uh, maybe two or three times the items with the money that was donated versus what they can buy. So, I mean, so the money goes a little further here. Uh, but I'm, right now I'm in one of the storage areas. Um, it's raining outside. That, so that's another reason I'm underneath the tent. <laughs> but, um, but you can see it's a lot of donations coming in and out here. This, this one shelter is a big distribution or a location. It's like, it's, it's a multi-purpose, it's a church, <laughs> um, but it, it, it's a multi-purpose. It, it, you get volunteers, all that kind of stuff. Then you also have, uh, uh, there's a lot going on. I'll keep it short. Uh, they feed, people sleep here. Um, I'm at the, right now it's 14 in my room, including myself. Uh, it started off as 10 or no, 12. Now it's 14. So, um, and I, I joked online about the snoring <laughs> on my, on Facebook. So I can get pretty loud. I, I was like the Marine Corps. I feel like I'm in the, I'm in the, in Iraq again. <laughs> what are the people like there? Are they confident that they're going to win this war? Yes, absolutely. Brave, confident, courageous. Um, right now, Lviv is a, is a safer area but they are ready to kick some butt. So come on, Russia. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> it really isn't. These, I, I, I can't picture them, them winning in Levy. There's no way. There's, there's still a lot of refugees coming in from the east, obviously. Well, I'm in the Levy. is located in the west. Um, and this place is doing ama- an amazing job. But the donations, it's, I hate to say this, people are already forgetting. Because, uh, yeah, of course, it's, you see the negative news all the, every day online, online, but you can't just forget and watch and be it's good to be addicted to all the news and stuff, but you need to, to act, you know, as you can afford it, you know, send in a, a couple, not to me, but to these large organizations. And um, it, it does eventually come down 
you know what I mean? So, but um, you need to keep supporting one way or another. Um, right now I've done, um, made a, not a million, but hundreds, thousands of thousands, thousands of people smile. And even for a little bit, I was scared at first, but I had no regrets. Oh my God, why was I so happy that I did this? I, I, I almost would, I would love to live over here just, just for a year until this is fixed, but I do have a responsibility, so I do need to go back home. And then my option even is to uh, go over and come back, but that, we'll see what happens down in the future. You know what I mean? But everyone here is, they, they, they love Americans, as I can tell you that. Um, they are exactly like you or me. Exactly. Their language, that's the only thing. But they're exactly like you or me. We can't forget that. Today's news feature is brought to you by Falvello Law Firm. Have you been injured in a car accident? Call Falvello Law Firm. Your case is our fight.